watch a lot of NBA teams, you know, and the Wizards, yeah, I know, I know about the team, you know. A lot of change this year about, you know, the teams and everything, but yeah, I, I knew about the team. Really. How are you feeling about the fact that you've been saying everything's been so fast? It might slow down. Yeah. It's gonna be summer league yeah. and then a lot of work in the gym. Are you ready to kind yeah. of say it's okay? I can take my time. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for that. Uh, that's, I know that's the process. So yeah, I, I, I just uh, flow it, you know, and uh, I'm ready for it. Yeah. And mom and dad are here. Today. What other family members are here? Yeah, uh, mom and dad, uh, both of my sisters and my Asian family too. You mentioned that uh, your family's mostly Asian. Do you think that motivates you yeah. and their background motivates you? Can you just talk about that a little bit? Yeah, you know, uh, that was a modest family. Uh, didn't grow up in the rich, uh, you know, cities and everything. So yeah, I just want to help them to live the better life as, as uh, the best life as possible. Yeah. Clearly, you're you're, you're a basketball watcher. You, did you say Mikael Bridges? Is yeah. One of your yeah, yeah. Why yeah. Mikael Bridges? So you I don't like really it. hear that around. Yeah. yeah. No, that's that's like somebody I've been watching a lot this year because I know I can. There is some similarities be between us uh, about the game. So. Yeah, I've been watching a lot because, uh, you know, he's, he's in the NBA and that's what that's I'm going to be. So just wanted to see how we, how we defend, you know, we attack the pick and roll and everything. So, yeah. Was... Different body types between you two. Yeah. Um, do you expect over time that you may need to put on um, a little weight? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to. I have to. Uh, I know there's some big bodies out there. So, yeah, I have to be in the gym and wait for work on that. Yeah, yeah. What advice did your coaches give you from overseas yeah. uh, to this experience? Yeah, they told me to be patient. Uh, it's going to be hard, like y'all say. So, yeah, just be patient and keep doing what I'm doing. You found a place to live yet in town, or you decided? Have you found a place to live in town, or you decided? Uh, what I'm at the hotel right now. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's coming. <laughs> what is it about the NBA and that ultimate challenge of going up against the best in the world in this game? I mean, I'm just a competitor, so yeah, I can wait. I can wait to play against them. Yeah. What did you learn playing for uh, Coach Kelly? Sorry, Kitchen. What did you learn playing for Coach Kelly? Oh, he knows a lot about the game. He learns a lot about the game, so he helped me a lot in good individual workouts, everything. So. Yeah, he helped me about the, you know, the um, adapting to situations, everything. So yeah. What's your first NBA memory? My first NBA memory, my draft night. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I was saying uh, as an NBA fan, because you were born like 2004. Oh yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Ooh, my first NBA memory. I'll say um, I love when the Miami Heat uh, won the title with Dwayne, LeBron, Ray Allen, and everything. Yeah, I love that. When did you? What age did you start playing basketball? I'm ten. Yeah, I started to play basketball at ten. And then I asked you on draft night if you thought you were still growing. How tall do you think you might get? I might be like six, nine, six, ten. Yeah. If you flash forward five years, what do you see for yourself during today, from today to then? Mm. Uh, the process was, was crazy. So yeah, I'm just glad to be here. Uh, didn't expect it after uh, five years ago. So yeah, I'm just happy. To be here. And then flash ahead five years. Where where do you think you'll be? Oh. I want to be an all-star, yeah. All-star, one of the franchise players, everything, in the Washington Wizards, yeah. The people out, the young guys, we always say, love basketball, but what are some of the things you do off the court, like, that, you know, that makes you happy? Oh, I like to play video games with my friends, uh, go shopping, see my family. Uh, yeah, that's all, I, that's all I need. And then also, there's a WNBA team in yeah. the Washington Mystics. Can we expect them maybe to see you at the game? Or? For sure, definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been watching a little bit of at WNBA, but... That was not on all the TVs, uh, sh um, TVs, uh, you know, that wasn't on the TV in France. So, uh, yeah, I, I just love the WNBA and, and then, the game. And then uh, Mr. Dawkins actually said something in French. How can maybe fans here um, get the you know, French about it? Do you have any tips for them that they can understand okay. the language? French is it's difficult. <laughs> it's difficult. I'm not even going to lie. But, yeah, I'm going to say something sometimes. Uh, Y'all will learn. Okay. Yeah, sure. y'all will learn. You took us through the international game. I mean, it was, like you said, soccer and a lot of stuff international, but more and more basketball players. Can you tell me what it's like, you know, changing sports and going to basketball where, you, like you said, soccer was one of the first things you would Yeah, play. yeah. Uh, at first, not a lot of players were uh, not. There were not a lot of uh, basketball players in France. Uh, that was, yeah, soccer, you know, the main sport. But, yeah, when I started, uh, the spirit, uh, I just loved it. Uh, you know, my teammates were great. Uh, good energy, uh, the coaches too. Uh, I loved it. What's what was, what's the youth basketball scene um, 
and friends like? Like, did you start playing in the league? I know you said you were ten. Yeah. Um, what were you doing when you first started playing basketball? Yeah. Uh, no, no comp competition. Uh, that wasn't games. Uh, just, just for fun. Yeah, just for fun. So you get serious around? Around like. 11, 12, yeah. My first year was just for fun, but after that, I love it, so I wanted to play, yeah. And it's just fascinating to me, we're really not a bilingual culture over here. We don't teach our kids different languages. Yeah. How many languages do you speak, and when did you start learning English? Yeah, so we have, uh, since the younger age, we have some classes of English and Spanish too. So yeah, I can speak French, Spanish, and English, and uh, a language from Mali a little bit, uh, some UK, yeah. Everything happening so fast. Have you had a chance to just take in the moment at all? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Yeah, everything happened so fast. But yeah, when I would be on my phone watching all the videos and stuff, uh, I would love it. Favorite type of food? Lasagna. My mom's lasagna. Yeah, <laughs> got to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you been able to see the White House yet? Or yeah, uh, that, I wasn't close, but yeah, I saw it. The summer league schedule is down a little bit. San Antonio yeah. is on there. Any. I can't wait to play this week. I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know if you're going to play, but I wish so. In <laughs> I hope so. Did you guys ever, you know, go head to head? Yeah, yeah, for sure. We had uh, a lot of uh, one on one drills. And uh, yeah, Victor, uh, whenever Vincent Collet, the coach, was saying uh, one on one drills, I was watching Victor, uh, Victor as, soon, as soon as he said that. So yeah, we already know. I know you got, you said you've known him at least since you were 13, right? You guys were talking yeah. about NBA dreams. How, how did you get to know Victor? Uh, you know, there was a. Um, there was we were living uh, in near cities, and uh, there was just a, a we just uh, took the best player of, uh, of every cities and uh, did one team with it, and that's how I made it. Uh, with it. And we were French national champions. They say the NBA is positionless basketball now, but what position do you feel like you fit in best? I think I'm gonna be a good guard. Yeah, good guard uh, can play. Uh, the point guard and the shooting guard combo, yeah. How do you feel like your guard skills have changed just with the growth spurt? Yeah, uh, at, at first it was difficult because, you know, they were COVID and everything, so I couldn't, you know, practice well and everything. But, yeah, that was difficult, but um, it, it came fast, yeah. It came back fast. The coaches always say if you say what position you want to play offensively, you have to be able to guard it on mm -hmm. the defensive yeah, yeah. end. What do you see for yourself on the defensive end, on the perimeter? That's, yeah, man, I love playing defense. So, yeah, I'm going to play defense on every post. So, yeah, yeah, I can guard them. How much did you know about Gilbert Arenas before the last couple of days? Yeah, yeah I know him because, uh, you know, I'm playing a lot of 2K. So, yeah, I've been knowing him from that. And uh, now, nah, you know, my father uh, was watching basketball, so yeah, I know about his game a little bit, and I uh, loved it, loved it, yeah. Who did you say your father's favorite player was? Tommy Lanson. Yeah. Oh. Tommy Hello. Yeah, he loved it. Has Gilbert Arenas reached out to you at all? Like, not about yet. the zero? Not and yet. It, <laughs> not yet. Okay.